Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to look at a Sicilian defense game. Yeah, so for today we have a very interesting short game in 10 moves. So, and you will see what happens if someone makes uh, mistakes in the opening. So maybe in your future games, you will avoid the mistakes. So e4, c5. So Sicilian defense is a half open opening when white starts with e4 and black answers c5. So, and one of the most popular system is to develop the knight to f3, yeah? So usually the knight on um, that goes the black knight that goes to c6 it usually blocks the c pawn so that's why they might want to play the sicilian Yeah of course it's one of the possible reasons So in this game black answered knight f6 yeah so knight attack on the pawn so of course probably white has to defend it so white plays knight c3 and black and wants to fight if, for the center. And it's also good if you can develop a piece while defending a piece. Yeah, of course. So, for example, if we go back, I don't think that this three would be good for white. Yeah, because it, it looks like a passive move and you block your light square bishop. So, of course, knight c3 is much better. So, d5 and white wants to trade pawns at the center. Yeah, so and probably now it's time to develop the light square bishop. So let's think what we can do with it. Where would be a good position for the bishop? So we want our bishop to be open, not to bishop to e2, because it's not... Yeah, like... it looks passive. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not the best and position for the bishop. In the game, what happened was bishop to b5. Yeah, so white wants to make a check in this position. So black plays bishop to d7. Okay, so it looks like this knight is hanging. Yeah, and probably black was thinking that if white captures, what black okay, can do, can how to get the piece to... back. Can you go back a few moves? Yeah, of course. So why it won't be good to move your queen, queen to d7? Because yeah, let's think. a really valuable piece, then, so if you play that, then the bishop can take. That's why we played with the bishop. Yeah, of course. Queen d7 would be a huge mistake for black. So that's why bishop take uh, moves to d7. And if the knight captures the knight, probably black has a plan, yeah, to get a piece back and to play bishop captures b5. So, and controls is diagonal. White can't castle because the bishop is controlling f1. Yeah, and probably white uh, has to play d3. Yeah. Okay, but in the game, white chose an, uh, another way. Instead of taking the knight, white played knight to e5 in this position. And black uh, decided like to start a combination probably. So black played knight takes c3. What is the plan? So the white knight defends the bishop. Yeah, so maybe black was thinking that white is gonna capture with a pawn and then probably black captures the bishop on b5. Yeah, and position looks so very good for black. Removing the defender is one of the tactics, but you want to know when it's the best time to play them. Yeah, so uh, but after knight c3, white has a nice answer. So instead of capturing the knight and instead of making check, yeah, because probably after this, black has a plan to capture maybe with the queen even. What do you think? So if the knight captures, you capture. If the knight captures, what would you do for black? Maybe. Knight captures the pawn. This is sort of like desperado. Yeah. So, and it looks like black has an extra pawn, yeah? And let's think what happens if black captures with a knight. So probably taken with a knight is even better. 
So because black is attacking the queen and at the same time black is attacking the knight. Yeah. So because if you don't, white doesn't have time for taking the knight because of knight takes d1. Yeah. And if white captures, then knight captures c5 and it looks like black has an extra piece, right? So it's important to look at how much material you have and how much your material your opponent has and how much each of the pieces is worth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So uh, white made quite unexpected move for black in this position. So white played queen to f3. Yeah, so nice. Uh, white has a plan to make a checkmate for the king. And it looks like black's position becomes dangerous. So black played f6. And now I think that uh, white has a very strong check. So, so let's think how we can make a check in this position. So it's usually not good to move your f pawn in the, because it weakens the square, because when you do that, it opens the square for the queen, which the white queen on f3 is on that diagonal. So we can play queen to h5. Yeah, of course, queen to h5, you see that the king doesn't have any moves and black has to play g6 in this position. Yeah, but what we can do with this pawn on g6? I think that white has a nice plan, yeah? So what white can do with a knight? So what ideas do you have, Tara? So what we can do is knight takes g6. Yeah, so knight takes g6, yeah. If black captures, probably white has made in one, yeah? So how can we make a checkmate in one move in this position? Let's think together. That would be queen takes g6. Yeah, so it's a checkmate. So... We, uh, we, we did the checkmate because it was a better move than taking the rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, checkmate is much better than taking the rook. Yeah, so if you have a choice to get an extra material or to make a checkmate, of course, it's better to make a checkmate. So in the game, black didn't take the knight and played bishop takes b5, but of course, this move doesn't help because white still has checkmate in one move. So let's think what we can do. And by the way, for this checkmate, we have to use a discovered attack, discovered check, yeah? Discovery check is like when we move a piece away and then it gives a check. So like here, there's the knight on g6 and if we move it away, it will give a check. And one of those checks can give a checkmate. Yeah, so the knight opens the diagonal for the queen, yeah. So, Tara, where should we move the knight in this position? So, we see that knight takes h8 won't be checkmate because the king has an ex escape square. Yeah, so you get the rook, but it's not a checkmate. So, it means that we have to move the knight so at the same want, time to control d7. To, we want our knight to prevent the escape square. Of course. So what we can do is we can play knight to e5. Yeah, so if we move the knight to e5, it's a checkmate, right? And we can see that the king can't go to d7 because of the white knight. So yeah, it's a checkmate and the game is over. So this game is a nice example that you always have to think about all possibilities for your opponent. So when black played knight c3, probably black didn't expect queen f3. So it's important to find candidate moves, not just by yourself, but also for your opponent. And that's why actually uh, black got into a trouble. Yeah, and the black king was can, checkmated. Um, it's important to get our king saved too. By, of course. That's why we castle. Okay, yeah, so nice game.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video to others. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Bye.